is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. I like how you're laughing too. <laughs> well, it's funny. Halloween mode. That's right. Halloween mode is in effect. Now, yesterday I went out and did some shopping for Halloween decorations. I ended up getting a bunch, but had no time to really hang any of them or do anything with them because I got home late last night and I was super pooped and just have not had a chance. Um, I'm going to take a look and within the next couple of days, Kat and I want to decorate the office here, but um, we do have one new addition that I'll show you guys right now. That is, I clicked the wrong thing. Yeah, a nice, uh, one of my, my favorite things in video games right here sitting next to me. As you can see, I love skeletons, as you guys know. So this is Bone Meal the Skeleton. He's joining me today along with Potion, who's been on camera for about a week now. So we've got a little bit of extra decorations here for Halloween, but haven't had any, I have a bunch of stuff to hang behind me. I haven't had a single chance to do any of it. So within the next few days, as I get a little bit of free time with Cat in between streams or whatever, we're going to decorate the office and make it look a little bit more Halloween-y festive, okay? But we got Bone Meal the Skeleton and... We got Potion, the cat, okay? I know, it's, I know it's silly, but it's still funny. It's still cool to see something festive, right, for the month. Quite frankly, if you really want to know the truth, I think the people who, free, who have midlife crises, people who have a very, very traditional formulaic life, okay? People who have a job that they absolutely hate. I hate the fucking game. You know, I hate YouTube. Man, this job sucks. It's a grind. I just do it for the money. But they're stuck in it. Because they need to bring in the money to support their family. You know, the wife and the kids. Who, yeah, you love them. But at the same time, you may start to look back and say, Man, I'm trapped in this life. And if I actually wanted to do something different with my life, I can't anymore. Because of the life decisions that I've made, I'm now stuck in this pattern. And you know what I mean? That's kind of what causes a midlife crisis. And that's when you hear, oh, the guy runs out and he he frivolously spends crazy amounts of money to buy a fucking you know, sports car for himself in the middle of his life for no freaking reason. You know what I mean? Tonight is a sponsored stream. It's only the second one I've ever done. It's going to be a fun stream. And I, I need you guys to show up if you can. You know, the whole point of a sponsored stream on Twitch is to try to get eyes on a game. And the more people who show up, the better. It helps me out if more people show up because, you know, sponsored streams, you want to get attention for them, right? Now, that being said, I can't tell you the game. As you know, we have a bunch of assholes who try to ruin stuff for me. And I'm not going to tell you the game so that they can get a head start and start complaining and stuff to, to game developers and the like. I'm just fucking not going to deal with that shit. Um, but I am going to do a sponsored stream for about two hours tonight. I don't kiss ass. You guys know that I do not kiss ass, and therefore you're never going to see me getting any kinds of these opportunities because I am not an ass kisser. I'm not Mr. PG on stream, uh, you know, I'm not the family friendly guy, I'm an honest guy. That's how I've always made my living, that's how I got popular to begin with, you know what I mean? Starting around 6.30pm Pacific Time, I'm not telling you anything about the game whatsoever, but I do need you guys, if you are, uh, you know, a fan of mine, if you want to help support, you know, this is an opportunity where you can just, by showing up, you can help me out, okay? By showing up and watching the sponsored stream, you can help me out greatly, okay? Now, you may say, um, why is Phil doing the sponsored stream at night? Well, it's very simple because... I am not all about the money. Fuck you. You're a liar. <laughs> Pretty hypocritical, I agree. I could easily have done the sponsored stream earlier today, 
and made it my main featured stream, but then what would have happened with WWE 2K19, the actual new release for today? Day one views, day one inflated views, make the money. Well, it wouldn't have been highlighted. It would end up being kind of crammed in at night, and I don't want to do that. You know, I'm the kind of guy, I am first and foremost about putting out entertaining gameplay streams and enjoying the new releases with you and sharing my hobby on a daily basis as my job. But I'm not going to forego that and say, oh, well, oh, I, I got a sponsored stream today, so screw WWE, I'm just going to kick it to the curb and play this other game instead. I'm not going to do that. I'm not. I'm still going to do a sponsored stream, but I'm going to do it late tonight, so that way, you know, it doesn't interfere with the, you know, normal stuff that I would do here on a daily basis. All right. So please come on by and hang out with me tonight if you can. Sponsored stream tonight. Disgusting beggar. Also, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, by looking at the stream stats uh, at the top of the screen here, uh, we did have our giant sub dip finally. It was coming, it was impending, we all knew it was happening, we just didn't know exactly when. Well, it happened on my day off yesterday. So, all those crazy amount of gifted subs that came in in early September finally expired. So, we're down to 647 subscribers and dropping. And I'm going to be honest here, it's going to keep dropping. <laughs> So, FYI, guys, just so you know, it's not a big deal. We all knew what was going to happen, right? We knew that this sub drop was coming. It's not the end of the world. It was just a crazy, artificially inflated month where the subs were so high. In fact, that's why I'm not doing sub goals this month. I can't. The subs are so thrown out of whack. <clears throat> There's no way I could do sub goals when I know at any moment they could plummet again because of all those gifted subs, okay? For November, we will do sub goals. And in fact, the, the sub goals that I'm going to set up for November will all be based on the Christmas event. And I think you're going to like it. We'll talk more about that in November. We won't jump the gun here. Um, but yeah, there's really no reason to panic or freak out, although, as you know, a certain group of people will and act like it's a big deal. It's not. Um, it's exactly what we were expecting, okay? <clears throat> if only I could be young DSP again. We start out with Genetic Gamer. He always has a bunch of questions. We'll try to get through these quickly today. He says, whenever I see the news or media talking about the next big gamer or celebrity, I get jealous of them. Uh, I feel that luck has a major part to do with their success, but people completely ignore it and say that these people just worked harder than everyone else. How do you get rid of these feelings of jealousy and resentment of people who are flash-in-the-pan successes? Um, well, listen, it's a, I can tell you from my own personal story, it's a combination of hard work and luck. If I didn't start on YouTube when I did, I never would have been popular. If I tried today to do what I'm doing now, no one would care. <clears throat> It's just that simple. I was lucky enough to start at a time when no one else was doing what I was doing, or at least no one was no, had no notoriety for doing it. Yes, people were doing Let's Plays, but no one popularized the raw-style reactionary Let's Play like I did on YouTube, right? And I became super virally popular at that time for being the guy who did them. And I've had a 10-year legacy. Are you balls, the guy? Man. You know, Are every you the guy? my dick and balls. It's the guy <laughs> watching his Twitch. Is that really him? Is he the yes. one that's going to call it, Matt? Yes! Really? He was the guy that got caught masturbating in front of children. I think he's like literally 30. Watching his he's like in his right 30s now. or something. He's in his 30s and he did that in front of children. That's right. Yes. Uh, but I'm, I've seen I'm so purpose. much. I'm, I'm a fan. What? I don't know what to say. <laughs> you have me kind of sticking with my guns and doing what I do when a lot of other people changed their formula to be a more highly edited style or follow all the norms and tropes on YouTube to try to stay abreast of the things and get kids to watch them. I don't care about that shit, you know? I just go ahead and do my thing. Um, but even though, yeah, I will say, yeah, it's been a ton of hard work, it's also luck. If you look at any top gamer at any top period of time, it's the same thing. PewDiePie, absolutely. The guy worked his butt off putting out daily gameplay streams and the like, but he was lucky to be a guy who looks the way he does, sounds the way he does, and found a niche acting basically like a sissy girl playing these horror games, screaming at the camera, and it got him millions of followers and viewers that were kids who thought it was funny to see him scream at the camera. I mean, I'll be honest, just like any other normal human, yes, am I jealous of certain people and of people who are successful and whatever? Of course I am. Of course I'm going to have jealousy. That's a natural human emotion for those who have more than you. You're always going to have that natural kind of jealousy of those who maybe have, uh, you know, been more successful or things like that. Much like if you guys remember that old YouTuber Fred, who just had this voice changer and made himself look like a little weirdo and kids for some reason liked it and he got hyper popular on YouTube. Ninja. This is a guy who grinded for years trying to get mainstream notoriety, didn't really get it until Fortnite just happened to become a white-hot popular game, and he was the best Fortnite player at the time, and there you go. It's just, it's it's a combination of hard work and, and luck, and that's kind of how it is, I think, in life, too, in everything. It's not just about being an internet personality or whatever, it's about everything, right? So you can't fault these people. <clears throat> they definitely worked hard to get where they are. This shocks me. 
But at the same time, anyone who would say, dude, would not attest to the fact that there's a luck involved is pretty much just blowing smoke up their own butt. Uh, you gotta realize that, right? Okay. So anyway, he's asked, how do I not be jealous? Listen, there's nothing you can do. Why am I gonna sit here and be thinking constantly about other people who are doing better than me when I can just focus on my own shit? I don't care. That's why I've always been the guy who lives, I feel like I'm an island. I live by myself out there in the, in the internet and I do my own thing and people are visitors to my island and hang out with me and that's cool. I don't care about anything else going on around. I know you're lying. I, mean, I don't. I don't give a fuck. Because if I did, if I constantly cared about all these things going on around me, I would never focus on my own shit. So, I don't care about that. Okay. I gotta take a dump. That was a hell of a dump. <laughs> that was a good one. But, I am now, I think I am cleared out, finally. Holy crap, man. Genetic Gamer cheered again. Here we go, another question. I'm wondering what age your age demographic is for your viewing audience. You say your fans don't like Fortnite or Minecraft, which would make me assume maybe they're on their mid-20s. Since your fans are in the mid-20s, do you think advertisers should look at you more closely since your audience has more spending power? I'm just tired of it. I can't, I can't babysit fucking kids, you know? It's kids. YouTube's main audience is toxic kids who like drama. So, that's what I mean, like, yeah, you're right, my audience... Most people who watch me don't watch me because I play viral games. I usually don't, right? I'm not the guy who jumps on the viral... Uh, patterns, the viral popularity of things like Fortnite. I played Fortnite before it was virally popular three fucking times, didn't like it, and said, I'm not playing this again. And I never went back to it because there's no fucking point. The game's not very good in my opinion, but kids like it because it's free and it's cartoony. Um, you know, it is what it is. But I'm, I realize that my target demographic more than likely is kids in their late teens. <laughs> Probably people in their early to mid-20s, maybe late 20s, and even a little bit older than that. Because I actually have people who've been along the ride for me, uh, with me, the whole time. And they say they're actually around my age range, mid-30s, right? So, <clears throat> in that age demographic, there's a certain thing you could advertise to that would be very effective. Sadly, I get the feeling my videos probably don't get those ads because YouTube just fucking throws ads at anything. Their algorithms are terrible and their system is a piece of shit. Always has been. Ow! Why'd you do that? Why did you do that? Why'd you just go to bite mommy? Wow. Alright, so you see what pigs can do. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic. Yep, I'm toxic. And it doesn't properly advertise to the right people. So, they keep giving all the advertisements to fucking Logan Paul. Do you show your toxic jealousy and just how petty you fucking are when you react to something like that? And people like that who are making these disgusting, fucking, stupid, immature videos for little kids. And all that ad revenue literally gets pissed down a sewer. Because no one buys anything with those those advertisements. Um, you know, and that's how YouTube works. And, you know, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. They just, that's why they're, they're, they're failing, you know. Ow! Why'd you do that? Why did you do that? Why'd you just go to bite mommy? Wow. All right, so you see what pigs can do. Okay, let's continue. Someone named Clout Gone 2005. I can't. I'm not even kidding you. Literally cheered and brought up a single video where two uh, OGs of the Street Fighter community basically shat on me in public. I'm in like 2008. It was either 2008 or 2009. One of these guys came out to me personally and public, uh, not or personally apologized to me for making the video and said that I was out of line. I shouldn't have said the things I said. Why in the holy hell would I bring this up now in 2018? Some people really scour the fucking internet for old shit and try to pretend like it happened yesterday. You need to grow up. So I'm not giving this guy recognition for his cheer. And I'm not going to address what he's saying because he's stupid. Okay. Cat, you need to get out now. That place is toxic. Mrs. Ha -ha who did a 50-bit cheer and says, Just feel like saying to everyone, spend time with your friends and family. Go outside, get in the sun, and enjoy nature. It does wonders for your mental health. Do not always rely on others. Be honest. And lastly, money isn't everything. Real talk. Okay. I don't know what that's in re reference to. Free! I guess it's some life advice. <laughs> okay. Um. No Name Tyler has tipped me a dollar. Says, Phil, can you lower the volume for 2K? 2K it works for others. <clears throat> It'll be weird without music. No. The reason being... Is because it's a, it, it'd be one thing if this was just a risk of, oh, um, you know, the, the video will get 
content ID matched or something on YouTube. I make no money on that particular video, all right? The difference here is I have gotten copyright strikes as well as video entire videos muted and pulled from YouTube because of having WWE content in them. In particular, the music. It's usually either the music or if there's an actual full motion video cutscene, those things completely fuck up videos on YouTube badly. And I am not taking any kind of fucking chance on this game at all. This wasn't even a game that I was originally going to play. There's no way. I'm sorry. If you guys like WWE music, go watch the product on TV. You're a moron. All right, you are. You are a moron. I'm sorry, you are. Uh, blame YouTube, <clears throat> okay? Just because something works for someone else doesn't mean it's going to work for me. I'm not taking any chances here. Double dip, double dipping. But it is what it's a double standard, right? It's a double standard. King of Hypocrisy Charity says, Did you hear about how female streamers often have to hide when they're in a relationship because their fans and haters will harass the streamer or their partner if it's revealed? Why do you think these toxic viewers go after the streamer's partner who's an innocent party? Because they're sickos. <laughs> it's that simple. People go after Kat. Kat didn't do shit. Kat hasn't done a damn thing negative to anyone uh, on the internet. And people have done nasty shit to her. These people are sick fucks. And any, by the way, I will say this. Anyone who does that is a sick fuck. And does not reserve, deserve any respect, notoriety, and certainly no money for any kind of content that they fucking put out. <gasps> oh my god. I'm sorry, but if you're going to go after someone's significant other who's done nothing wrong, you are fucked in the head, and you are an immoral, disgusting, vile fucking person. That's like me, right? That's like me. And more than likely, the only people who watch you are of the same sound mind, are the same kind of mind. Um, and that's why. So, there you go. Salt, 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 90% of the time. Salty Hunt asks, why am I so hard on PewDiePie? I'm not so hard on PewDiePie. I'm honest. <laughs> I'm very honest. Hey, it's PewDiePie. You know, the things... Tell me one thing I've said about him that can be that's wrong or, or can be disproven. The things I say are very honest. People just don't want to be honest, you know? Um, in, in a lot of regards, do I have sour feelings towards PewDiePie? Yeah, but not for the reasons that you guys know. The reason I have sour feelings towards PewDiePie is because... We get... <laughs> this is also a classic. <laughs> This one didn't get age restricted though. It's a. It's just funny when he when when guys does it. What is up, everyone? Hello, hello, and welcome. Oh, the camera's on. But it bit 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 bit. Cue the Seinfeld. <laughs> oh, the camera's on. <laughs> How long have you been watching? Did you see all of that? He basically became the figurehead of gaming on the internet, and with a lot of the stupid fucking shit that he's done, made us all look bad, you know? I don't want I don't want people to think that gamers on the internet all, you know, are guys who do sc scream at a camera, act like a puppet, a muppet, and fucking say the n-word on their streams, you know? <laughs> happy holidays! Happy holidays! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a gamer! But a lot of people think that because this was the guy who was supposed to be the figurehead and he could continuously did irresponsible, stupid shit for attention, you know? And that's really the, that's really the only negative feelings I have towards him. I don't really know that much about the guy outside of the shit that you hear in the media. I don't watch his content. I don't know anything about him besides the, the very basic information that we all know. And, uh, you know... I'm not going to sit here and, and harp on one person. I don't. If people bring up big YouTubers or whatever, he's going to always be one of them because he's the biggest gamer on YouTube, period. You know, he always has been. Will he eventually be overtaken? Yes, I do think that at this point, his popularity is waning and you're going to have guys like Ninja and other people who are eventually going to become more synonymous with gaming. I mean, like I said, Ninja was on ESPN or whatever. So, finally, I think he's finally getting knocked off his high horse there a little bit. But uh, I, don't, I don't have any... I really don't have any negative feelings toward the guy at all. <laughs> Fuck that, Phil. You are a dirty, rotten liar. By the way, I should say this because I think this is pretty funny. Despite all the efforts of the people who hate me out there, last time I did a sponsored stream to try to get me in trouble or get me uh, any kind of negatively affected, I was not. I had zero negative effects from anything those people did. I'm good at lying. <laughs> I received payment for my previous sponsored stream. Everything is good to go. So there you go. Well, all right, let me put it this way, guys. Let me put it this way, all right? Because I want to make this very clear. Last time that I did a sponsored stream, people tried to mess with me. 
And, you know, people basically came into the stream chat like, the sky is falling, chicken little. Oh my god, did you hear they're doing this, they're doing that? Uh, we don't need to hear that. That's the bottom line. I don't care what anyone else is doing. My job here tonight is to put out a fun, entertaining, and engaging sponsored stream for you guys. That's it. It's not for me to be talking about, oh, this person's doing this horrible thing, and this person's doing this horrible thing, and this, per this game developer said this and that and this. None of that amounted to a hill of beans. All the crap that they tried last time didn't work. None of it. It, none of it had any effect on anything. Everything went swimmingly. You know, like I said, you know, and, and it doesn't matter what people are saying or doing or trying to get done. It's not going to work, you know? It's just not. They can sit there and try as much as they want. But the bottom line is we don't need to know it. We don't need to have people coming into the stream chat saying, Did you know that they're doing this and that right now and trying to get Phil in trouble? And blah, 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 blah. We know they're going to do it. We don't care. We're just here to have fun and, and share positive gameplay experiences, right? You guys are here to chill and watch me play games and laugh at my reactions and talk to me about my what I think about the game and stuff like that. I'm here to give you my honest reactions. And by the way, I should bring that up. These sponsored streams are... I'm allowed to be honest about the games. I was allowed to be honest about the game two months ago, and tonight I'm, honest to be, I'm allowed to be completely honest about this game as well. I don't have to... Um, I don't have to do anything in regards to, like, kissing the games, but or anything like that. The only thing they say is, don't be overly unfairly negative. I'd kiss ass. You guys know that. I'd kiss ass. Okay, fair enough. If I'm in a, a part of the game that's pissing me off, I can say why. But don't go on a crazy tangent rant saying this is the worst game ever made and stuff like that. When in reality, it may it may not be. I mean, then again, maybe it is the worst game ever made. I don't know. You know, I'm not playing it yet. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I shouldn't go to extremes. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just going to keep it reasonable. And if you, for those of you who were here last time for my last sponsored stream, you saw it's exactly what I did. Democracy. And uh, people seem to like it. In fact, most of the feedback I received from that stream was that it was a very good stream. And a lot of people had been exposed to a game they had never seen before. And actually were like, oh, I might be interested in that. So that's the whole point of these streams, okay? Uh, so there you go. Please, let's not, um, let's not hear anything about any negative shit going on. And I, I'm going to strongly require that the mods that are here, because there are a couple mods here. They're just kind of, they're staying on the down low, I see. But I know that there's a couple people here. That please keep it under control tonight. If we got people coming in and talking about negative shit, we can't have it. We, I'm trying to keep this stream under control. I need to concentrate on the game and focus on the positivity and doing a fun stream like I usually do. We can't have it derailed by people coming in like Chicken Little. This guy is falling. This person's doing this. This person's doing that. No one cares. Nobody freaking cares. Okay? <laughs> Nobody. Jay Bowler says, Cat and I should do a Christmas special stream. I'll, I'll definitely be doing something. For Christmas, I mean, what I want to do is kind of redo what I did last year because it was such a hit. Yes, I do need to do fundraising during streams in order to pay my bills because this is my job and I need to keep stuff going, right? But sadly, I am behind on money right now because I had to pay this giant lump of taxes last month. And now I'm basically, you know, to the bone with money, like, like paycheck to paycheck, pay bill, pay bill. The IRS will destroy me if I don't pay my taxes. I don't have money. All my money has to go to these taxes. Any any tips sent to me go straight to the taxes. 100%. No lies because I need the money right now with this whole tax situation I'm in. I need the money. And laughing it up, laughing it up because of the hideous scam of me saying that I had tax issues this year, right? I did it! I did it! Victory! Victory, baby! Victory! Yeah! Yeah! Good shit. Good shit. If you guys remember, last year I did a Christmas holiday gaming marathon where I drank all day. People really seem to dig it. So I'm thinking of doing kind of a similar thing. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. And also doing like a holiday uh, podcast like I did last year too. That also went down pretty well. Um, and if cat is, is available, you know, it I guess it depends on when I do it. If it's Christmas day, of course she can be here with me, but if it's Christmas day, I don't know if I want to stream, you know, I'm going to be here with her. We want to spend time together. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And yes, it is not, uh, your eyes are not deceiving you. Tonight's sponsored stream is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now, as you guys know, I've already been playing this game. So that means that tonight, as I play this game, I'm just going to be continuing along with my normal playthrough of the game that I've been playing. I'm about 10 hours into the game right now. So, 
It's a win-win. I'm continuing on a playthrough that I was already doing. I was already going to play this game tonight anyway, so why on earth wouldn't I accept a sponsorship opportunity, okay? So, full disclosure, guys. Yes, this is a sponsored stream. Ubisoft has sponsored it. Um, this is a way for me to basically show off their game. I personally have really enjoyed Assassin's Creed Odyssey up to now with a few criticisms I've given them, like that first legendary animal fight I didn't really particularly like very much. But outside of that, I think the game's combat is good. Uh, the open world RPG exploration aspect is great. Like, there's a lot of great things about the game that I've been enjoying, and that's why I decided to do this tonight, okay? So I would like to say thanks to all of you who are here. I hope you'll stick around for the stream. Um, obviously, the whole point here is for people to watch and get free uh, advertisement on the game so people can kind of see what it's all about. Maybe a lot of you have not watched me play Assassin's Creed Odyssey as of yet. If that's the case, welcome. I hope you enjoyed tonight's two hours or so of gameplay, okay? How's the gout, Phil? Oh my god, here's oh, another one. Thing. How's the gout, the Phil? Oh. <laughs> another idiot. This is great. How's the gout? How's the gout? Who was it? Hold on, I got, now I have to freaking manually mute everything. How's that Seattle Air, Phil? Yes, I won't play a game, yes. Alright, yes. you will. Don't worry, you will. I just gotta find out who this idiot is now. Say it again. No, say it again. Say, how's that gal? Go ahead. How's that Seattle Air? Come on, say it again. Man, you're so dumb, I know you'll say it again. Say it. Say, how's that gal? <laughs> Come on. So with the gout, I do better. <laughs> the gout. He's still saying it. How's the gout? How's the gout? How's the gout? Oh, Perry, how's it go? Give me a cracker. Wow. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP's a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.